So that's the end of uh, the topics that I have written down. Is there anyone else that wants to say anything? Maybe we need a, a profound thought to uh, include this video. I think it needs to what involve pragmatism because that's come mm -hmm. up tw two or three times in this call and <clears throat> a couple times in the past week. I don't know what the profound quote is, just that that could be Does what it's Lovejoy about. Lovejoy have a Buddhist story about pragmatism? I don't know how this relates. I'll let people draw their own conclusions. Maybe I shouldn't. There's two of them. There's the Sufi trickster named Hoja, uh, who appears in a lot of Sufi parables. And uh, there's one about Sufi has, uh, I'm sorry, Hoja has a, a donkey. He's he's poor. You know, Hoja's always doesn't have a lot. And so he, when one day he decides to feed his donkey half as much oats, because it seemed like he can get by on half as much oats. So he does, and he keeps that up for a while. And then a week later, he cuts that in half. And donkey seems fine. And uh, this goes on for a while. And eventually, he cuts that in half also. And pretty soon, like the donkey's eating almost nothing. And one day, the donkey just <laughs> falls over dead and dies. <laughs> and Hoja exclaims, Ah, oh, just when he was getting used to not eating. And that's a kind of a horrible story, but it's 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 interesting, like commentary, maybe on some level. I'll share a funnier though one though um, to lighten the mood after that horrible story of a dead donkey. Um, oh, just walking to the marketplace, and um, no, he sees a beggar, and this beggar is like he finds a scrap of bread on the ground. The beggar is it's just dry, and sad piece of bread, and he he smells this really wonderful soup, and he so the beggar walks up sees the cauldron of soup and he takes this crusty piece of bread and he waves it over the top of the soup to just get some of the aroma in his crusty piece of bread and the shopkeeper comes out and it's just irate and demands to be paid for the uh for the aroma for the for the aroma of his soup yeah and um of course the beggar refuses and he has no money to pay anyway and, and this dispute you know is just causing all sorts of ruckus in the marketplace so hoja is called in to settle the dispute and he he arrives and he hears both sides of the story and then he decides what the payment is and he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out some coins and he holds it in his hand and he reaches over to the shopkeeper and he goes there now you've been paid <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's some wisdom there. <laughs> Pay for a smell with a sound? Yeah. <laughs>